new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so before we get started i just want to let you guys know that this is a purely informational video dealing with numbers and stats if you are not into that or long type of videos well you know i have other videos for you but if you want to know who are the real welfare recipients uh who benefits the most and also by state by state along with populations then this video is for you so again uh much love and appreciation and feel free to leave your comments in the description below after you're done with the video when then president donald trump met with the congressional black caucus back in 2018 the topic of welfare reform came up one member of the caucus told trump that enforcing stricter rules would be detrimental to her constituents not all of whom are black the president is said to have replied really then what are they apparently assuming that all welfare recipients couldn't be white in fact far more white people have benefited from united states welfare programs over the years reflecting their greater share of of the population while black people and other people of color have been denied in various ways the pandemic has exposed the underbelly of the american inequality in many ways with people of color disproportionately likely to be laid off or to be on financial brink and to die from the pandemic that has helped prompt a growing chorus of financiers business leaders and regular folks to call for a reimagine of american capitalism and for movers to end racial inequality some top economists are calling for a new new deal specifically targeting inequality a platform to which the democratic presidential candidate joe biden seems open to if the country is to move forward in trying to lift americans out of unemployment and poverty policymakers might consider who has benefited the most from past welfare policies and how such policies have helped produce today's world business insider talked to four economists researchers and historians and analyzed the past 90 years of welfare policies when considering the question of who the status quo actually benefits sanford scram a political science professor at wrote disciplining the poor and hard white puts it bluntly quote i do think the federal government has been complicit in the perpetuation of race-based discrimination that has led to african americans lagging behind whites no question about it the u.s government has spent trillions of dollars trying to prop up its economy during the pandemic but it has stopped short of a wartime economy style mobilization or the kind of massive public works program that some experts have stated that is badly needed to stem the double digit unemployment but the black lives matter movement given new urgency after george floyd's death by police in minneapolis in late may has exposed a separate problematic legacy of the new deal the series of policies enacted by president franklin d roosevelt to get the united states out of the great depression of the 1930s it was introduced in an era defined by segregation and explicit racism it's true that roosevelt appointed several black leaders to prominent leadership positions within the administration known as the black cabinet and his policies helped make thousands of jobs newly available to black americans but as ibram x kendi points out in stampede from the beginning policies enacted at the time reflected a racist culture when the new deal got americans back to work white americans got the first picket jobs and when black americans did get jobs they were given lower wages and this is according to the university of houston's digital history project gary orfield a professor of education law and political science and urban planning at the university of california at los angeles stated quote state and local governments administered almost all federal new deal programs and many of these states and local government leaders especially in the south were virtually all white and racist 
Also, many African American people were excluded from key benefits created during this period. The Social Security Act of 1935, for instance, prohibited domestic and agricultural workers, an outsized number of whom were black or Latino, from receiving benefits. Black workers were also excluded from progressive labor regulations passed during that time. The National Labor Relations Act of 1935, commonly known as the Wagner Act, for Senator Robert Wagner, who proposed it, bolstered the strength of worker unions, but many major unions of this era either excluded black workers or discriminated against them. Quote, many unions had explicit clauses in their constitutions that stated that only whites could be members. So you could have a situation where an employer was forced to bargain with an exclusively white union and he'd have to fire all his black employees. Because discrimination was still legal when it came to jobs, black Americans were routinely denied well-paying positions and were much more likely to be hired for low-wage work. Quote, a lot of policies were designed that simply left out black Americans who were sharecroppers and were doing low-wage work, which was excluded from some of the labor regulations. Elsewhere in the economy, interpretation of the New Deal policies wound up hurting black Americans. The Federal Housing Administration was created in this era with the goal of creating affordable housing for as many Americans as possible, but local interpretation of this mission resulted in redlining, a policy in which mortgage credit was denied in the majority of black neighborhoods. The FHA continued to encourage racist policies into the post-war era when the American suburbs were being built. In 1948, the Supreme Court outlawed restrictive covenants, a clause that essentially prevented black Americans from buying property from white owners. Yet, the FHA still encouraged builders to write them into their agreements well past 1948. White veterans of World War II were given zero down payment, a 30-year guaranteed mortgage under the GI Bill. Quote, with zero cash, you, white veterans, could get into owning a brand new home. That door was not open for black and Latinos. A house someone bought at the time for $12,000 or $15,000 in mortgage payments would be worth $300,000 decades later. Quote, that's a gigantic wealth creator and a gigantic middle class escalator, one that black Americans missed out on and couldn't pass along to their children. One of the largest government programs in the post New Deal era, President Lyndon B. Johnson, Great Society, sought to remedy the racial wealth gap. During the 1960s, the median black family income rose 53% while black employment doubled in professional, technical, and clerical occupations and average black educational attainment increased by four years. The proportion of black people below the poverty line went from 55% in 1960 to just 27% by 1968. Even at the height of great society, black Americans constituted only about 27% of all welfare recipients and most recipients were white Americans. Quote, from the great society moving forward, one could say that white people because of their numbers and percentages of the population have always constituted the largest numbers of people on welfare. Also adding that black people, Latins, and American Indians because of their oppressed conditions have constituted a much greater percentage than their percent of the population. But as the anti-discriminatory policies that Johnson's presidency were enforced and black Americans were allowed to participate in new beneficial programs, there was a dramatic shift and public perception about government subsidies to the negative. Quote, public assistance was not as demonized until African Americans began to exercise their right to use it, ironically. And that's when welfare started to be seen as this inferior program for non-white people who didn't play by the white middle class rules of a working family. The shift was propelled forward by President Ronald Reagan, whose campaign speeches about now debunked, quote, welfare queen stoked racist fears among white Americans. Americans. Quote, he really tightened the eligibility requirements. He made it more difficult for you to get welfare even after you started work. 
For example, Reagan cut spending to the aid of Families for Dependent Children program, which provided cash assistance to low-income families whose father or mother was absent from the home, incapacitated, deceased, or unemployed. This forced struggling mothers and families further into poverty. The social welfare policy researcher Sandra Edmonds Crew, who is a dean at Howard University's School of Social Work, describes such policies by conservative policymakers as a direct response to black participation in the system. Quote, this is always a backlash that comes after progression, always. Likening the backlash against welfare expansion to the resurgence of white nationalism in response to Barack Obama's presidency. Instead of receiving an opportunity to be lifted out of poverty, many black Americans remain disenfranchised. Reagan's legacy, however, was solidified by Democratic President Bill Clinton, who promised to change welfare as we have come to know it by replacing the aid to families with dependent children program with a temporary assistance for needy families block grant. He dramatically reduced the size of the welfare programs. Quote, TA and F really did change welfare as we know. All right, so we're gonna go from the list that they have here, which is welfare recipients by state 2021. And we're gonna start off with New Mexico. And they state that New Mexico has a population which is white, 74.81%, Native American, 9.55%, other races, 8.63%, two or more races, 3.26%, Black or African American, 2.11%, Asian, 1.56%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.08%. West Virginia has a population of 1.7 million. West Virginia's demographics, white, 93.08%. Black or African American, 3.69%. Two or more races, 1.77%. Asian, 0.8%. 8% other races 0.44% native american 0.20% native hawaiian or pacific islander 0.02% louisiana has a population of 4.6 million louisiana's demographics white 62.01% black or african american 32.2% 22%, two or more races, 2.04%, Asian, 1.73%, other races, 1.41%, Native American, 0.57%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%, Mississippi has a population of 2.9 million. Mississippi's demographics, white, 58.41%. Black or African American, 37.72%. Two or more races, 1.35%. Other races, 1.03%. Asian, 0.99%. Native American, 0.48%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.02%. Alabama has a population of 4.9 million. Alabama's demographics, white, 68.09%. Black or African American, 26.64%. Two or more races, 1.89%. Other races, 1.45%. Asian, 1.36%. Native American, 0.52%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.05%. Oklahoma has a population of 3.9%. Oklahoma's demographics, white, 72.32%. Two or more races, 7.75%. Native American, 7.62%. Black or African American, 7.28%. Other races, 2.71%. Asian, 2.17%. Native American or Pacific Islander, 0.16%. Illinois has a population of 12 million. Illinois demographics, white, 71.53%. Black or African American, 14.20%. Other race, 5.93%. Asian, 5.47%. Two or more races, 2.57%. Native American, 0.26%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Rhode Island has a population of 1 million. Rhode Island's demographics, white, 
80.46%. Black or African American, 6.77%. Other race, 5.47%. Asian, 3.40%. Two or more races, 3.33%. Native American, 0.50%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.08%. Pennsylvania has a population of 12 million. Pennsylvania's demographics, white, 80.53%. Black or African American, 11.18%. Asian, 3.41%. Two or more races, 2.50%. Other races, 2.15%. Native American, 0.19%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. Oregon has a population of 4.2 million. Oregon's demographics, white, 84.29%. Two or more races, 4.80%. Asian, 4.37%. Other races, 3.07%. Black or African American, 1.91%. Native American, 1.16%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, New York, has a population of 19 Point two million. New York's demographics, white, 63.66%, black or African American, 15.66%, other race, 8.66%, Asian, 8.42%, two or more races, 3.15%, Native American, 0.41%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.05%. Nevada has a population of 3.1 million. Nevada's demographics, white, 65.59%. Other races, 10.26%. Black or African American, 9.12%. Asian, 8.15%. Two or more races, 4.93%. Native American, 1.28%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.67%. Tennessee has a population of 6.9 million. Tennessee's demographics, white, 77.58%. Black or African American, 16.76%. Two or more races, 2.20%. Asian, 1.75%. Other races, 1.38%. Native American, 0.27%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.06%. Florida has a population of 21.9 million. Florida's demographics, white, 75.12%. Black or African American, 16.07%. Other race, 2.99%. Two or more races, 2.174%. Asian, 2.73%. Native American, 0.28%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.06%. Georgia has a population of 10.8 million. Georgia's demographics, white, 58.62%. Black or African American, 31.61%. Asian, 3.98%. Other races, 2.81%. Two or more races, 2.56%. Native American, 0.36%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.06%. Delaware has a population of 990K. Delaware's demographics, white, 68.76%. Black or African American, 22.8%. 1.8%. Asian, 3.87%. Two or more races, 2.83%. Other races, 1.92%. Native American, 0.39%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.06%. Ohio has a population of 11.7 million. Ohio's demographics, white, 81.30%. Black or African American, 12.41%. Two or more races, 2.88%. Asian, 2.22%. Other races, 0.97%. Native American, 0.20%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. 
Arkansas has a population of 3 million. Arkansas's demographics, white, 76.72%. Black or African American, 15.32%. Other races, 2.79%. Two or more races, 2.69%. Asian, 1.52%. Native American, 0.68%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.29%. Maine has a population of 1.3 million. Maine's demographics, white, 94.31%, two or more races, 2.23%, black or African American, 1.38%, Asian, 1.13%, Native American, 0.65%, other races, 0.27%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. Michigan has a population of 9.9 .9 million. Michigan's demographics, white, 78.41%, Black or African American, 13.79%, Asian, 3.13%, two or more races, 2.92%, other races, 1.18%, Native American, 0.54%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. Texas has a population of 29.7 million. Texas demographics, white, 73.97%, Black or African American, 12.13%, other race, 5.82%, Asian, 4.80%, two or more races, 2.69%, Native American, 0.50%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.09%. Kentucky has a population of 4.4 million. Kentucky's demographics, white, 86.95%, black or African American, 8.07%, two or more races, 2.25%, Asian, 1.47%, other races, 0.98%, Native American, 0.21%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.07%. South Carolina's population, 5.2 million. South Carolina's demographics, white, 67.16%, black or African American, 26.77%, two or more races, 2.31%, other race, 1.76%, Asian, 1.57%, Native American, 0.35%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.08%. Massachusetts has a population of 6.9 million. Massachusetts demographics, white, 78.07%. Black or African American, 7.63%. Asian, 6.60%. Other races, 4.18%. Two or more races, 3.26%. Native American, 0.22%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Hawaii has a population of 1.4 million. Hawaii's demographics, Asian, 37.79%. White, 24.95%. Two or more races, 23.89%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 10.06%. Black or African American, 1.83%. Other race, 1.23%. Native American, 0.26%. Missouri has a population of 6.1 million. Missouri's demographics, white, 82.16%. Black or African American, 11.49%. Two or more races, 2.63%. Asian, 1.98%. Other races, 1.17%. Native American, 0.44%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.13%. Vermont has a population of 623K. Vermont's demographics, white, 94.16%. Two or more races, 2.02%. Asian, 1.68%, Black or African American, 1.37%, other races, 0.39%, Native American, 0.34%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.05%. Arizona has a population of 7.5 million. Arizona's demographics, white, 77.22%, other races, 6.53%, Black or African American, 4.50%. Native American, 4.50%. Two or more races, 3.73%. Asian, 3.31%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.21%. Wisconsin's population is 5.8 million. Wisconsin's demographics, white, 85.43%. 
black or African American, 6.41%, Asian, 2.79%, two or more races, 2.39%, other race, 2.04%, Native American, 0.89%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Washington has a population of 7.7 .7 million. Washington's demographics, white, 75.38%. Asian, 8.53%. Two or more races, 5.85%. Other race, 4.50%. Black or African American, 3.80%. Native American, 1.28%. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.66%. Connecticut has a population of 3.5 million. Connecticut demographics, white, 75.92%. Black or African American, 10.72%. Other race, 5.21%, Asian, 4.51%, two or more races, 3.33%, Native American, 0.28%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. California has a population of 39.6 million. California's demographics, white, 59.70%, Asian, 14.49%, other race, 13.95%, Black or African American, 5.79%, two or more races, 4.89%, Native American, 0.77%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.40%. Maryland has a population of 6 million. Maryland's demographics, white, 55.54%, Black or African American, 29.89%, Asian, 6.28%, other race, 4.52%, two or more races, 3.43%, Native American, 0.28%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.05%. Alaska has a population of 724K. Alaska's demographics, white, 64.58%, Native American, 14.89%, two or more races, 8.23%, Asian, 6.23%, Black or African American, 3.28%, other races, 1.53%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 1.25%. Montana has a population of 1 million. Montana's demographics, white, 88.54%, Native American, 6.36%, two or more races, 3.06%, Asian, 0.79%, other race, 0.67%, Black or African American, 0.50%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.08%. Iowa has a population of 3.1 million. Iowa's demographics, white, 90.02%, Black or African American, 3.71%, Asian, 2.41%, two or more races, 2.12%, other race, 1.24%, Native American, 0.38%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.12%. South Dakota has a population of 896K. South Dakota's demographics, white, 84.27%, Native American, 8.75%, two or more races, 2.62%, Black or African American, 2.01%, Asian, 1.45%, other races, 0.83%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.06%. Indiana has a population of 6.8%. Million. Indiana's demographics, white, 83.31%, black or African American, 9.40%, two or more races, 2.55%, Asian, 2.28%, other races, 2.19%, Native American, 0.24%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Nebraska has a population of 1.9 million. Nebraska's demographics, white, 87.0%. 0.6%, Black or African American, 4.83%, two or more races, 2.63%, Asian, 2.38%, other race, 2.10%, Native American, 0.92%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.07%. Virginia has a population of 8.6 million. Virginia's demographics, white, 67.63%, Black or African American, 19.18%, Asian, 6.4%, 0%, two or more races, 3.79%, other race, 2.65%, Native American, 0.28%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.07%.
Jersey's population is 8.8 .8 million. New Jersey's demographics, white, 67.78%, black or African American, 13.46%, Asian, 9.46%, other race, 6.29%, two or more races, 2.74%, Native American, 0.22%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Idaho has a population of 1.8 million. Idaho demographics, white, 89.97%, other race, 3.47%, two or more races, 2.94%, Asian, 1.41%, Native American, 1.3%, 5%, Black or African American, 0.69%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.16%. Colorado's population is 5.8 million. Colorado's demographics, white, 84%, black or African American, 4.16%, other race, 3.86%, two or more races, 3.67%, Asian, 3.18%, Native American, 0.98%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.15%. Minnesota has a population of 5.7 million. Minnesota's demographics, white, 80 2.85%, Black or African American, 6.41%, Asian, 4.82%, two or more races, 2.97%, other race, 1.87%, Native American, 1.04%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.04%. Kansas has a population of 2.9 million. Kansas demographics, white, 84.38%, Black or African American, 5.85%, two or more races, 3.45%, Asian, 2.95%, other race, 2.46%, Native American, 0.82%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.08%. North Dakota has a population of 770K. North Dakota's demographics, white, 86.58%, Native American, 5.29%, Black or African American, 2.9%. 91%, two or more races, 2.59%, Asian, 1.45%, other race, 1.07%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.11%. New Hampshire has a population of 1.3 million. New Hampshire's demographics, white, 92.88%, Asian, 2.68%, two or more races, 2.10%, Black or African American, 1.60%, other races, 0.56%, Native American, 0.15%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.03%. Utah has a population of 3.3 million. Utah's demographics, white, 86.43%, other race, 5.04%, two or more races, 3.04%, Asian, 2.32%, Black or African American, 1.19%, Native American, 1.09%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.89%. Wyoming has a population of 581K. Wyoming's demographics, white, 91.44%, two or more races, 2.67%, Native American, 2.44%, other race, 1.52%, Black or African American, 0.96%, Asian, 0.86%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.10%. North Carolina has a population of 10.7 million. North Carolina's demographics, white, 68.68%, black or African American, 21.44%, other race, 3.09%, Asian, 2.85%, two or more races, 2.66%, Native American, 1.21%, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 0.07%. All right, so those are pretty much all of the stats that I was able to gather and place directly into this video. Um, so hopefully, you know, when it comes to that argument, if any point in time that you guys happen to hear, oh, yeah, well, you know, black people are the, you know, overwhelming majority when it comes to the recipients of welfare, you can clearly point them to this video so that you can clearly set them straight. It has the numbers. It has the percentages. It goes by state by state. And it also has some little uh, picture information as well as to show in state to who is really the true recipients overwhelmingly.
when it comes to uh, welfare and the government assistance uh, system that we have set in place. But anyways, as I stated before at the beginning of your video, let me know what you guys think about this video and all the information uh, that was presented directly in front of you in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.